Remember the nonprofit that called the police on Jessica Miles and her daughter when they went to get extra assistance because Village for Vets, the nonprofit, is giving the veteran and her family the same assistance they do to single veterans. They were giving Jessica and her daughter such a hard time that I was shocked to see that they are taking our tax dollars, over a million dollars of it, to help veteran families. But what's really the intention of Village for Vets and the founder and CEO, Marcy Pullier Schwartz, who says they're in partnership with Brentwood School in UCLA? I don't get how you could partner with entities that are immorally and unlawfully occupying land donated to be a homeless and disabled veterans home, not for UCLA, not for Brentwood School, not for a mega mall. Oh, Marcy's the owner of two buildings on South Barrington Place. That makes sense. It's across the street from Brentwood School. And she thinks Brentwood School is a real gem and privileged to live next to it. The same school that violates law according to the Office of Inspector General. But I'm not even sure Marcy cares about the law. I mean, she was removing the parking lot. She was doing construction on all of her units without any permits, without any inspections. But this is the big one. She removed her parking lot. Now, as Marcy continues to demolish her parking lot without permits or notice, veteran homelessness in Los Angeles only increases to the point veterans who are disabled and homeless have to sue to remove the entity stealing the land. And as you see in 2013, a judge ordered Brentwood School to leave. And the parking lot next to it that Marcy started parking at because she demolished her parking lots was called West Side Services. And she was told she can't be parking there either. So what did Marcy do? In 2015, Marcy makes a public comment in the Federal Register for land use. And she talks about her brother being a Navy veteran. But here she says, our 102 businesses and over 600 jobs and commercial activities, which we want to share with the vets, will die. Mind you, Los Angeles is the nation's capital of veteran homelessness and suicide. We have over 4,000 veterans sleeping on a curb, dying in the streets. But she's concerned with the businesses. In 2018, the Office of Inspector General said that that parking lot violates the West LA Leasing Act. It does not benefit veterans. But Marcy was writing opinion pieces to save the parking lot and the dog park, saying it needs to be part of the community that vets and the community need to join together. No. 2020, read this. Excerpts of Brentwood Business Improvement District minutes in which Ted Lou's office is coaching Secretary Marcy Schwartz on how to prevent federal eviction of the illegal parking lots at the West LA VA. It's been over one year since Village for Vets received $1.3 million of our taxpayer dollars through this $1.3 million grant. And the grant says it was supposed to serve 220 households. And the average cost per household was supposed to be $5,980 and 21 cents. And it says it's specifically supportive service grant amount request per participant in each household. That would be the veteran and the veteran's daughter would each get that amount. What I wanna know, it's been over one year. How many veterans did Village for Vets serve and how much money did the veterans get? That's what we demand to know because $1.3 million went to this. Now, I, I did the math. I did the math so that you didn't have to. 220 times 5, 9, 8, 0, and 21 cents is basically $1.3 million. The Office of Inspector General needs to do an investigation. This is the entity name, Village for Vets. That is the phone number and the email at the top right here to contact the Office of Inspector General and say that we need an audit and transparency into Village for Vets immediately.